lovelies. Good morning. How's everyone doing this lovely fine day? And welcome back to my channel for all you new subscribers. And thank you so much for coming back. Um, today I'm going to be doing an e.l.f. Cosmetics first impression makeup tutorial. I actually have used some of the products, but not all of them. So I'm going to be using the ones that I have not used yet. And you guys have seen in my unboxing that I got a lot of e.l.f. cosmetics. So I wanted to go ahead and try them on before it gets way too late because people are excited they want to see the tutorials so i'm just going to go ahead and do it and if i sound a little sleepy guys please i apologize i just woke up i just got my coffee i haven't taken a sip of my coffee so please forgive me give me about 20 minutes and i will completely wake up but i'm going to go ahead and get right on into the tutorial what i start with is oil of Olay age defying anti-wrinkle day lotion with sunscreen i actually love this because it's SPF 15 and it does an amazing job. It's not too creamy. It's not too greasy So then what I um, continue with is the primer that I got some um, So I actually love it so much. So this is not the first time I'm trying on this elf um, Then what I like to put on my pores is baby skin by Maybelline instant pore eraser because I have extraordinary large pores the size of craters from the moon so I actually love to put this on because it does really erase them instantly as you guys can see it erased them so then guys what I'm going to do is actually start putting on my um, my concealer and my concealer is not elf it's actually Master Conceal by Maybelline and it's amazing. It's a camouflaging concealer. So I have to put this on, guys. I like to put um, this e.l.f. eyelid primer for your eyeshadow. It's amazing, guys. I'm almost out of it. This is not part of the unboxing that I had. This is part of the first unboxing that I did in New York City. So then what I do is blend everything out with my blending brush that I use. And I got this one. It's Beauty 360 Beauty Blender. And I got it from CVS Pharmacy. And I have mentioned this in my previous video that I actually love these. These are so awesome. I got them on sale at CVS. They were two for five dollars. And this is amazing. This actually does the trick for your eyes and around your eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. I actually have been breaking out a lot and I have no idea why. It's just like I have so many breakouts. This is so unnatural to me now because I'm 34 and there's just like I honestly have not broken out in years. So that's just strange to me. I sip of my coffee. What I'm going to use is um, this little shimmery white powder. It's actually for your under eyes and it blends in well with the with a camouflage concealer so it's supposed to get in the concealer but you can put it over your concealer if you'd like so I'm going to use elf defining eye brush and on with my foundation so I still have some Kiko Milano foundation unlimited foundation with sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 15 I love to use this guys this is amazing oh my god it's so amazing I know it's not elf but I actually love this it's a neutral 40 because I'm not so white and I'm not so tan so I'm like kind of in between and I do three pumps just because it covers very well very well and I like to use my beauty blender in lip shapes it's really dirty already I know because it used to be purple <laughs> and then I just like to pat all over my face I forgot to take out my nose ring I always take out my nose ring because if it, it's much harder to go around it and then I get foundation all over the nose ring and then I have to clean it out while it's still in and it's just why not save us all the trouble and take it out clean so see how it's way too much? Three path, three pumps is excess. It's a lot. So I just use the remainder for just other areas and try to get your neck, guys. Always get your neck. Don't just 
get your face and you're gonna have like a cake face. So then, what I love to use is my Kiko Milano Makeup by Milano um, Soft Focus Foundation Mineral Powder Foundation in number four. So this will set your foundation and it's soft focus foundation so it blends in really well. It doesn't leave it looking cakey or dry. It's so awesome. All right, now here comes the fun stuff. I'm actually gonna start trying out the e.l.f. Cosmetics. This, this is a beautiful bronzing. It's called Turks Kaikos, and it's a beautiful bronzing set. So I'm not sure which one to use. I think I'm gonna use this one for bronzing, and I'm going to use another one for the blush. This one is Twinkle Pink, as I mentioned in the unboxing, and I'm gonna use the Twinkle Pink for the blush. So let's start with the contouring, shall we? And I don't want to use the e.l.f. brush that came with it for the contouring because it's so defined and I know that it comes out really defined with this and I just, I really don't want to contour uh, my face and it to be looking really extreme and then having to go back and erase it. So I'm going to be using this one and some, most likely this one over it. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. bronzing brush, which is perfect. Not bad, guys. Not bad. This is nice. Wow, it's gorgeous. You could see the color immediately. Then I like to do the sides of my nose. I am going to contour it, my nose for real, with a different contouring. So I'm going to go back over with this one. This is gorgeous. Comment below, let me know if you think this is a nice look, yay or nay. Then I'm going to go back and use my blush brush with this blush. I like it. I like the blush. It's really pretty. It's really pink and pretty. So then I'm going to be using my contouring that I use. I, I don't usually use it, but for the purpose of this video, I want to use as much e.l.f. cosmetics as possible because I want to show you guys the e.l.f. cosmetics that I have. So this contouring, it's kind of dirty, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's a cream contour palette and it comes in four different shades. I'm going to be using this shade right here for my nose. Then I'm going to be using my nose shadow brush and I actually got this from Wish.com. I got this set from Wish.com. And for the most part, it's amazing. It's good because for the price you can't expect so much. So then I start here. And this is an everyday look, so I'm going to work today at Uber, so I don't want to fancy it up way too much. I usually don't contour my nose to go to work, <laughs> but for the sake of this video, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go over my entire face with the All Over Face Brush from e.l.f., Total Face Brush. From e.l.f. It's gorgeous. Alright you guys. Um, now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows because my eyebrows are have a life of their own and they are not easily tamed. They're like two wild horses on crack. So I have to really, really tame them. And I tame them with, this is Gorilla Snot Gel guys. <laughs> and I use uh, an old mascara brush. So I have really thin eyebrows due to my fault mainly. I used to over tweeze them as a young teen and they never really grew back. <laughs> so I had to improvise. And the beautiful thing about nowadays is that thick eyebrows are in again and I actually can just draw them. So I do. When you tweeze your eyebrows, just make sure you tweeze them in the direction that they grow because 
If you tweeze them upwards, they're going to grow back in that same direction. And I did that. I made that horrible mistake. And now they grow upwards here and here. And it's like the worst thing ever, guys. You, I never recommend you going through that mistake. I want to try this gorgeous California Dreaming palette that I showed you in my video tutorial. So I want to try some of these colors. You know, honestly, I don't usually like these round palettes. I don't usually like these because even though they appear to have a lot of eyeshadow, they're not really that pigmented. I mean, they, they just don't, they don't have a lot. It's just like a little semi-circle and then the top part is the shadow, the eyeshadow. So it doesn't really have that pigmentation. Um, I did check them out the other day and so they really don't. Um, so what I'm going to use also is this one for my the brow bones. I'm going to start with this one. Alright, so I'm going to try the new um, eyeshadow C brush that came with the free gift. And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. Guys, I forgot the most important part. I'm going to pause this for a second. The highlighter, guys. The highlighter that I'm so excited about. How could I forget that? Um, this is the Illuminating Highlighter from e.l.f. And I'm going to dab it on my cheekbones and blend it. Guys, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I love it. Wow, it is so gorgeous. It illuminates your bones so amazing. So then I'm going to dab here and just high points of my face. And on my chin. And on my forehead. You guys, yay or nay, what do you think? Isn't it gorgeous? So for my crease, I'm going to be using and just to build up the color. So and then I'm going to end up with uh, this one, this copper tone. So I'm going to build it up with this and I'm going to end my crease with this. And I'm going to be using my smudge brush. Um, and it's also from Wish. Um, I do have a smudge brush from e.l.f. It's a blending eye brush, so I do want to start with this one because this one's more intense. So this one is the one I'm going to start with to, to build up my color. You see what I have to do? I have to dab a million times just to kind of get a little bit of color on there. It's just not... Honestly, this is my review for e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, for the unboxing and this palette is not what it seems. It talks too much and not too much action. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, so then I'm going to, I'm going to end up, I'm going to use another color. Kind of build that color up. Not coming out. It's like I have to beg it to come out. Now I'm going to go back and use the copper color that I showed you guys. Let me see how well it goes on the brush. Please help me out. Don't do this to me. Alright guys, it's not really working out. Okay, so it, you could start to see the color, but it's really hard to get it on there guys they're really hard I mean it's not like it's blending in so easily you know how other palettes are just you just dab just a little bit and it's like intense and this one you have to dab a million times and even kind of scrape it out all right I think that's enough so this is the coppery color I like it I really like it um I just don't like the fact that I have to dip my brush in a million times now I'm going to cut my crease, guys, and I'm going to use the same concealer that I used for my under eyes, this one, and I'm going to be using a really precise a mascara brush, also from Wish, um, but I like to use it because it cuts the crease really well.
So now that I've cut the creases, I'm going to be using a beautiful, beautiful gold eyeshadow that is also from e.l.f. You guys, I'm going to, I'm going to continue with my crease because I'm not really happy with this copper color. What do you guys think? Is it nice? I'm going to be using um, this one and it's from Prism Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette better than the one that I just got, the California Dream In. Because this one is just much more pigmented. See? You see how it just blends in so easily? Oh my gosh, look at this. Just the color just came out. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna be using um, this gorgeous Molten Liquid Eyeshadow by e.l.f. And I also got this, this is from the Aqua gift set. And I tried it out the other day. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and then once that's dry, I'm going to start using, I'm going to wing it, guys. I'm going to wing it. So I use, I love using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And um, I always use it because it has a very flexible brush. And I love that because I can just move my wrist however freely I want. I'm not done yet. Um, I wanted to add some more colors to this one, so I'm going to be adding a really bright goldish color in the center just to kind of accentuate the eyes. And I'm going to be using my mascara I and mean my eyeshadow brush that I always use. Also from Wish. It's a really thick, beautiful eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to be using this one for the center of my eyes. I'm going to be packing on the white here in the corners of my eyes, seeing this one. This is a concealer brush, but I like it because it's so precise on the tip and I just I use it for the white. I'm going to be doing my eyeliner. Alright guys, so then I'm going to top it off with the new uh, e.l.f. mascara that I got too, and it's in black. And I love this mascara because of the bristles. I love these bristles. I'm going to be using my eyebrow colors and uh, this is elf as well and this is in dark eyebrow brush i like to put a little bit more of gorilla snot gel on the brush just to thin out the brush i actually don't like it too thick i like the preciseness of uh, drawing so this is how i like it i'm going to be using this one because i'm not too dark come on now guys can you tell i'm waking up now Okay, so what I'm going to do is clean up my eyebrows with the same brush I used to cut the crease and of course with the same concealer. We'll also clean up the, the crease here. Guys, and then I'm going to be using the e.l.f. lipstick that came with the unboxing um, called Bold Berry. It is gorgeous and I'm going to be doing my, my outline first. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked this, this Get Ready With Me tutorial, give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that big red button to your left. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I'll see you on the next run. Peace. Hey.